Hello, hello everyone and welcome, welcome to this week's training. I'm super excited for today because it is, well, we've just started December, so it is the beginning of the holiday season, if you will, it is the beginning of December, it is the beginning of the end of 2021, and it is also the start of something very exciting that we have coming up in December as well. So we have a, an invitation for you to our new workshop uh, that is starting on the 13th. So I'm going to share some some more details with you about that at the end of the training but this training today is really about like when it gets down to the nuts and bolts of it it's really about reducing overwhelm for you over the holidays reducing stress really just getting you to a point where you can feel free enjoy your holidays and not get so caught up in some of the things that we all do, right? Like in terms of the perfectionism and the needing to please and the having to do it all and all of these things. So we're going to dive deep uh, today, but I that is why I really wanted to show up today to give you guys these five ways to accelerate your positive mindset. And I wanted to do this for so many different reasons. And one of the reasons is that you guys have done so well this year like you have been showing up in these trainings you've been showing up to the workshops many of you have come in already in the having wardrobe malfunctions uh have already come into the rejuvenate program and are doing amazing in there and i just want to be like kudos to you guys for showing up for yourselves so much this year i received some messages this morning about you know just new levels in your careers in your family lives, in your relationships, in your you fulfilling your own dreams. I've been receiving messages and messages in, in terms of you guys feeling better and showing up better and like receiving the great things that you've been wanting to receive for a long time. So I just want to say hats off to you. And I'm here to be like this positive mindset this of being in your authentic self more and more and more can just flow into next year. It doesn't have to be like hit the end, you know, like hit the hit the cul-de-sac and then figure out what to do starting in the new year. And so what I would love for you guys is to get ready now as well for 2022. I know it feels like far away. It's really only a few weeks away. And so we really want you to be primed and ready and like just roll into 2022 feeling your best, feeling your best in every way. So I have five ways to accelerate your positive mindset. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit about our upcoming workshop. I'm so excited for what we're offering in December this year because Usually we don't do much in December and I think December is such like a vital month for us all and sometimes we forget where we're heading when, you know, Christmas comes and New Year's is here and there's so much to do. Okay, so let us dive in. <clears throat> so what we really want for you is to set your intentions now. Setting your intentions now for 2022, I'm going to roll you through that, take you through that in the workshop. But today, just setting your intentions now for the holidays. How do you want to feel during these holidays? And not just like on Christmas Day or on Christmas Eve, for those of you who celebrate on Christmas Eve, and not just on New Year's Eve and not just on New Year's Day, but how do you want to feel from now all the way up until the end of the year and then in the new year, the first week of the new year. So go ahead and pop that into the comments because we want to set these intentions now for what the whole holiday period is going to be like for you. Are you already feeling overwhelmed? Are you already feeling like I already have too much to do, Marissa, and it's only December 3rd? Like, or are you feeling like, you know what, I'm in a pretty good spot right now. Now is a good time to be setting these intentions and to be saying, well, actually, I really would love to feel like this for the rest of the year. That would be amazing. So go ahead and pop that into the comments. Where are you at today and where would you like to be? Do you want to follow the path and what you've started already? You can change it. You can change it. We're only into day three of December. So it is a perfect time to change if it needs to. And then are you feeling like really calm and connected now? Well, great. How can we keep that going? How can we really step into those feelings more and more and more? Okay, so five ways. So the first way that we can really accelerate this positive mindset, keep you guys on track for until next year, 
is to say yes to saying no. And I know we talk about this so much in self-care and it's like, oh, but Marissa, at this time of year, it's so hard to say no. I can't say no because I have to say yes you know, to so many different things. And sometimes we feel like we need to do it all, but we don't actually have to do it all. And when we burn out, like we kind of sometimes feel like, and especially as mothers, don't we? We sort of feel like we need to be the mother figure in so many different areas and that becomes our identity. And, you know, maybe we need to mom up for this person and this person, and this person as well as our children. And maybe we're doing it to our husband as well. But when we burn out, we are not giving our all. We are not sharing our best self with the world and with our family and with the people around us. So just tuning in and taking a breath and just asking yourself, you know, am I buying gifts for everybody? Am I trying to do everything for everyone? Am I trying to show up in all the ways, you know, and can I pull back a little bit? Can I just show up in the ways that it feels really good to me? So if you are, you know, uh, thinking you need to buy, you know, a gazillion gifts for everyone around you, there are different gift ideas you could look at, you know, different organizations that are doing amazing things, small businesses, your friends, you know, who are still working up and through this period. And maybe they are creating something amazing that you could get your hands on. Also, just what about experiences? Like what can you book in now that kind of takes the pressure off of you maybe it's a night out with the family or maybe it's a day event where everyone gets together but it's not at your house what about if someone else could cook some of the meals for you you know so saying yes to saying no and then there's all there are all these events usually and i depending on where you are in the world and what is going on you could be asked to do a number of different things to help with these events or just to show up and sometimes it feels like it's too much so please just know that, you know, you can say no to some of these things and just have a think about, like, how could they be different this year? Because I think part of it is that, and especially like when the condition self comes to Christmas and comes to the holidays, it wants things to be a particular way because it thinks that if it can control these things and have it this certain way, that we are going to feel a certain way. But the liberation is with us, right? Like within us. So we can feel a certain way no matter what happens, no matter what goes on, no matter whether it's perfect or not, we can still choose to feel a certain way. So one of the ways that we can do this, and this is number two, is by listening, like tuning in and listening to your body. And so what does it say? What does your body say to that, you know, extra event that you have to cater for or what does it say to that extra glass of eggnog even right or that extra piece of cake also listening to your body was what is it saying about rest can you just take two minutes to breathe and sit and play maybe with the people around you and breathe in that Christmas spirit if I can say that and just to tune into that you know there's so much that goes on around us can we also tune into your body when you're buying gifts, when you're out, you know, creating, getting ready for Christmas, even when you're putting things up in your house in an effort to make it feel, you know, like bring the Christmas spirit alive, tuning into your body and being like, is this like, do we need this? Does this feel good? Is this going to make us feel good? Then yes, right? And even does it feel good in the process? And I'm going to get to that in a minute because we've had a couple really interesting things happen in our home already this year with the two boys where I just I'm just like I've had to give up my perfectionist ways right like big time who else who else is a mom here and it's just like I have had to give up my perfectionist ways since becoming a mom especially a mom of two boys under four so anyway um, and I know many of you are with me. So the third way that we can accelerate our positive mindset, you know, really give back to ourselves, reduce some of this overwhelm and stress is to delegate, is to delegate. I think at this time of year, we just, and just in general, don't we as women, 
want to do it all like we we because we can most of the time we're like pretty good at it and other people rely on us to be that for them so what can we do how can you challenge yourself at the moment like this week even this weekend coming into next week how can you challenge yourself to delegate so we actually have a, a challenge happening inside the rejuvenate program at the moment and it's um one of the days is to oh sorry one of the tasks is to every single day for a week to delegate one task to someone else and so I'm going to challenge you guys to do this, right? And maybe it's for next week. Maybe it's just for over the weekend. But I challenge you to delegate every single day one task that can be done by someone else. So I'm going to share with you in a minute how I, you know, delegate some of my tasks or not, not so much delegate, but allow Ocean to like take over some tasks. And sometimes they're totally imperfect, but I'm just going to let it go because it's that time of year. He's having fun doing it. I'm going to share with you that, you know, a little bit in a minute. And so sometimes, you know, we say that, well, I could do that. So maybe I should, you know, if you can find a little minute and you're like, mm, I could probably fit that task in. So I probably should do it. So I'm challenging you to say, if you can do it, don't do it right? Oh, I could do that. So I won't do that because I'm just squeezing it into that time that maybe I could make a cup of tea and sit down or play with my children or go to the beach or do something for me that really feels great and uplifting, right? I know for us, there's so many Christmassy things that I grew up with that I would have loved to be doing uh, in the last nine years that I've been here in the islands. And I haven't done them because I was so caught up in like so many other things and so this year like I'm totally doing all the things I'm just doing the things that really feel good to me and I've found in watching people like over this time of year for a very long time I found that the people that tend to have the most joy at through this season are not necessarily the people that have all the lights strung in the perfect way and all the balls on the tree with the perfect measurement between them and you know, all the everything done in advance and all the food a certain way and everything on the table looking perfectly, they're more the people who let some of that stuff slide for moments of play and just like up, uplifting the family and often it's like games or something that comes in that is not like this desire to, for everything to be perfect and as beautiful as it is right like when you see a nicely styled table or you know you're just like wow this is so amazing and it makes you feel good but for how long and so this is what I want to ask you this is what I want you to think about these these items these things that you feel like you kind of need to make the perfect you know christmas and it could be that certain people need to be there or certain things have to happen and how can we kind of just throw that out the window and ask ourselves how do i want to feel how do i want to feel this holiday season and then look at the items around that and that's how you make up you know your christmas this year or whatever this is my challenge to you right and so, yeah, just there are different ways that you can kind of tune into that. And again, it's tuning into your body and it's like, is my body tense? Am I breathing? Am I breath holding? Because if you are, then you're probably trying to control something. This is a perfect example of the conditioned self trying to kind of hold you in a certain way and we want you to be liberated and free and in your authentic self and having a beautiful time and so the conditioned self can very often just be like you have to do everything perfect right and I am totally a recovering perfectionist I am a recovering people pleaser I was like totally dedicated to those games until I learned about the conditioned self and the authentic self and just how they play and so just just you can keep saying to yourself you don't have to do it all and you could have that be or what we use in the rejuvenate program the wise loving adult coming in and just saying to you you don't have to do it all you don't have to do it all and so yeah I mean for us and I think I'm going to post these photos in the group <laughs> I had this like perfectionist attitude toward my Christmas tree. This was just one of the things for me. And since the kids were born, I don't know if the Christmas tree kind of, oh, so when Koa, I was pregnant with Koa for the 
two Christmases ago. And so we were away. And so the Christmas tree was on like a countertop, right? I think the Christmas before that, we had like a um, railing put around the whole Christmas tree so that, again, it could be perfect, right? I would love your tips, by the way, if you've had young kids and had beautiful Christmas trees. I'm all up for that. I would love to hear how you did it. Um, but I really would like to like share with you what my Christmas tree currently looks like, like our current situation. And if you know me at all and you know my history with the Christmas trees, you'll be like, whoa, what, like what's going on, Marissa? And so I noticed myself like when we were putting up the tree, just like I was, I was tense, I was breath holding and I was like, no, this has to go like a certain way. And then I was like, this is not going to happen. Marissa, like this is a completely unrealistic goal that your Christmas tree is going to be as perfect as previous years and that no child is going to come and like rip it all down, right? And so all the things that were breakable went away and, you know, what we have on the tree now, well, what we will have on the tree like this weekend um, is going to be, you know, the unbreakables. And it's, it's going to look great, but, you know, it might not stay that way and that's okay and it's totally okay. I'm, to I'm definitely going to post it um, in the group. And so just checking in with your body, like am I breath holding? What am I trying to control? Or like really, it's a really good question to identify if you're in your conditioned self or your authentic self as you're doing all these beautiful things in the lead up to a special time, right? And then the fourth way that we can accelerate our positive mindset is to really just focus on raising the vibe. And we're already rolling into this with what we're talking about. And it's like, Okay, even if it's not perfect, perfect, perfect in the home, even if, you know, you don't want to send a photo of your Christmas tree, put it in your stories, like, so what? It's all good. No one's going to miss that. But are you going to, you know, be bringing in the joy in your home? And is the joy in your heart, despite your brain and your conditioned self saying things have to be a certain way for me to be happy, right? And so... um yeah, like Ocean, Ocean, Ocean put up the tree. He was so excited to like put up the Christmas tree. He was running rings in the house. He just couldn't believe it. And so a couple of the balls broke. You know, the lights are like really low hanging. Collars already pulled off half of them. And I was making this beautiful wreath like that I just had in my mind. I'm like, I'm going to make a wreath this year. And I just got really crafty and excited about it. And then they were like driving it around like, because it looks like a wheel when I, I made it out of grapevine. And then it looked like a wheel. So it's monster truck wheels. And they're like driving them around the house. And I'm trying to contain myself. And once again, I just started laughing because I was like, this is something you're trying to control, but like, look how much fun the kids are having. Like, this could be so much, so much play could come from this. And I'm not saying like, let your kids wreck your home <laughs> completely. But like, when you find a moment like that, can we just pull back for a second and be like, what's truly important here? Well, look at their smiling faces. It's really just old grapevine. It's going to be okay, right? Um, and so, well, this goes back to the delegate do right like can we let our kids start to do a little bit more can we let our you know friends family other people in the household husbands wives just do a little bit more for us instead of us taking over like everything at this time of year and so you know ocean I've had to let go so much and those of you who've had toddlers and you've want and you want them to learn and they want to learn and you've let the reins go a little bit you have felt this too where you know ocean spills the juice when he is pouring into a glass cup he's three three and a half and you know but I let him do these things because he's pretty careful he's fairly good at it yeah, there's going to be some juice spill here and there. There's, a, you know, are going to be things that happen. He spills that he drops the eggs sometimes when he's cooking, you know, but he can go into the fridge and peel a carrot and eat it. Isn't that amazing? Like he can just go and do things for himself. And so that frees me up because he's not constantly coming to me. Every time he's hungry, he can go into the fridge and make himself almost whatever he wants now. And I let him and, you know, things go everywhere and it gets a bit messy and it's okay. And so what are you trying to control? That is the question. What are you trying to control? And how can you kind of just let the reins go and kind of let other people 
take some of the load off of you, even if it's not all that perfect, right? And then the fifth way that we can accelerate our positive mindset this season is with silence, with silence. And I had to throw this one in here because people have been asking me questions like, what if I go to family gatherings and they want to talk about, you know, with everything that's happening in the world right now, they want to talk about A, B, and C, or my beliefs are this way and their beliefs are that way. How do you do that? Like, Marissa, help us. Um, And so I just want to share like conversations with other people, family and friends. They are your choice. They are 100% your choice. You don't have to engage in conversations you don't want to engage in. You don't like no one is tying you down to the chair and holding you there and saying, you know, you have to respond to this or even that you have to listen to this. If it doesn't sit well with you, if you're not aligned with what they're talking about, instead of just kind of, you know, either saying something that you might regret or just bundling it all up inside so that you don't feel great, just choose not to. I mean, like, you can just choose not to be a part of it. And I'm not saying, like, that these hard conversations are not necessary and that, you know, it's not good to have them. It is great to have them, but it doesn't have to be around, like, this occasion and uh, at the family dinner, right? Like, and so hats off to you if you can change the subject, make a joke, change the vibe, raise the vibe, you know, do something different, have an activity, be in charge of the games, like whatever it is that's going to uplift you, make you feel good and bring joy to those around you as well. Yes, the hard conversations are necessary. Yes, there are messages in this world right now that are important. However, can we just, you know, all come together and be peaceful? And this is all about ease and grace and peace and gratitude and kindness and love. And this, these are all of the things that we all want to feel this season. And so this training is just about that for you. Just how can we give you a little bit more ease and a little bit more peace at this beautiful time of year, right? Yes. And so I am giving you permission. I am giving you permission to not respond or not engage if you don't want to. Okay. So more ease, more grace, more happiness during the holiday season. I love you guys so much. This is a reminder to you that I am inviting you to a five-day workshop starting on the 13th of December. I'm so excited for this. I am really jazzed for all of us coming together and really preparing for 2022 now. I don't want you guys to wait until January 1st, January 2nd to think about 2022. I want it mapped out for you so when the year starts, you're just gliding in and you keep going toward your dreams, goals, those feelings, you know, the core desired feelings that you have, the big vision that you have, even just, you know, feeling great and being uplifted in in every day and being more and more in your authentic self. I want you just gliding into 2022 like that. And so we start on the 13th, we're going for five days, there may be a few bonus days uh, in there the following week. And we are just getting you primed and ready to enter 2022 with just so much, you know, inner um, contentment, happiness, joy, really touching on that authentic self so much uh, in the workshop and getting you guys to really get clear on your big vision and where you're going and just getting you feel to feel good. So if you like, well, actually, I just really want to feel better right now, come to the workshop because it's going to be, you know, all about everything that we talked about today too. You can use the tools and um, techniques and strategies inside the workshop to help you with all of those as well. I love you guys so, so much. Have an amazing day and I will see you. What day is it? It's Friday today. So I'm actually going to see you on Monday. How amazing. Okay. Can't wait. Have a great weekend. Bye.